It's uh, Monday. I just wanted to go through. We got a couple of new NIAX readers because we have a couple of new machines coming in. We're going to start installing these before we put machines out. And we got our Slim Jims and our Reese's in. So we're good to go. Uh, I'll visit back with you when we got more vending stuff happening. So it is currently Wednesday night. It's about, I want to say like 7 o'clock. Uh, the reason I waited this long to start my pre-kits is because most of the places close at 6. I just wanted to make sure that I had everything set. So we're going to go into my MoMA app from NIAX. We're going to check the stock of the machines. And then we're going to use these guys right here to pre-kit accordingly. Uh, I'm going to pre-kit them from our last stop to our first stop, and then I will put them in the van from our last stop to our first stop. Uh, let me get to pre-kitting. All right, so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but I'm kind of hoping you can. You see we got uh, Pop-Tarts at the bottom. We don't need any. Then you got 30 count Danish. We need four, six, and four. So we're gonna go ahead and put 14 Danishes in here and uh, we'll work our way up the list from there. All right, so I've got this organized pretty well. Um, underneath this layer of sour cream and onion, we've actually got a whole bunch of other chips. This is our biggest location, and this is the biggest pre-kit we're gonna have. I'll show you clips of all the other pre-kits. I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. So here's the next one. This one's a lot smaller. You can see we actually have some empty space, and it's not stacked too high. So this week might be a little bit slower than last week. We'll find out. Here's our third one, way more empty, and there's a couple reasons for that. Reason one, it didn't sell quite as much as I'd hoped. Reason two, empty spot, empty spot, empty spot, empty spot, empty spot. So what that means is we're gonna have to order a lot of product because uh, we're, we're out of a lot of product. And I don't think this week is gonna be a very good money week. So it's a good thing that we were splitting up our money before and I didn't spend anything. So we're probably gonna place an order before we go on the run to be totally honest. But, all right, let's let's uh, let's continue this. All right, so this one did pretty darn good, I'd say. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the collection on this one. Um, the next two that we do, we are going to do two simultaneously. You'll see we've only got two bins left over there. Um, one of them we have a credit card reader for, the other one we don't, uh, but both machines are set up the same way. So I'm just going to, the one that we have a credit card reader for, I'm going to fill up first, and then the other one, I'm just going to put five of each item that we have left at that point. We're getting really, really slim on product, and we're going to have to order a lot of stuff. Don't worry guys, I'm getting curtains. I haven't got curtains yet, but I'm getting curtains, I promise. I've decided to only bring the stuff that I absolutely know I'm gonna need, which is really, I probably could have put that in a plastic bag. But this is one stop. This is our other stop. Um, <coughs> I could probably fit the soda in here, to be honest. Um, there's more product it needs, but we've run out of a whole bunch of stuff. So this is a problem that we need to solve. So, um, I'm going to take inventory of what we have left here, and I'm going to go ahead and place an order for probably two of everything that we're missing, and uh, that should fix this problem. Our Sam's Club total is 134.31. This is coming off of last week's collection, and our Amazon shopping cart total is going to be somewhere here 24 62 it's actually pretty decent um that's everything on the snack shelf that's everything that we need to order right there i don't have to go anywhere else it's going to come straight to my door and we haven't even gone on the collection yet so i'll see you guys in the morning all right guys we are all set ready to go i'm going to show you the setup in the van it's still kind of dirty i guess but so we have our First stop, second stop, third stop, fourth stop, fifth stop, sixth stop. All set up here. And we don't have to pre-kit anything now. It's all done. So here it is, pretty darn early in the morning. And uh, we're ready to go already. This is already an earlier start than last week. First stop, about 8.43. Let's, uh, we're just going to go put some cans together and 
get our pre-kit and go. Let's do it. About two minutes is how long it took me to put this together. Okay, so I thought I should show you guys this. There's a motor error on 0052, which is the MDB code. And that is this guy right here. I don't know if you can see it. This motor right here. So this motor's bad. We're gonna have to order a new one for these guys. Gotta fill some Diet Coke and lemonade. Alright, so we've got that full up. I'm gonna test a couple things because Dr. Pepper hasn't sold either, so I'm wondering if there's something wrong. Right, Dr. Pepper worked fine. Okay, so we had another issue. This wasn't vending properly. This is our Slim Jims. So I took this, which is our little lip, I took it off of this side and put it on this side and it rectified the problem. Also, I discovered by pressing the button in there, going into the menu on this and force vending our problem product uh, it solved that problem as well so we don't need to buy a motor the motor works fine okay all problems resolved a little stack there it's really dark in here you can't see anything there we go Go. Here's the deal. Um, that should have taken like five minutes. Uh, the filling part did. But we had like two problems there that I had to resolve. Those of you who have been in the industry for a while, do you fix it the same day that you run your route or do you like create a schedule to fix it later? Curious. All right. Have a good one. Okay, guys. We are... All right, it's 1019, we're at location two. Hopefully it doesn't take nearly as long to get this location done. Like maybe two minutes, pretty decent. All right guys, so I'm gonna dub over this because the audio got damaged pretty bad and uh, I'd like to just make a nice clear thing going here. You can see the machine was uh, not that full. We only had Pepsi on us and we went ahead and filled that up while we were there. Uh, I filled a couple other things too. I'm gonna go ahead and collect on this now. I want to reiterate real quick, uh, we're currently visiting all locations weekly uh, because it's providing a good service. Now, it's also because I want to fill up a day. One day a week I want to completely fill it up, which is what we've done. And as we grow, which we're about to, uh, we just got two more machines, so we're about to start growing again and you're going to see more locations. You're going to see a lot more soon. we got two more locations that you're going to see a lot more often than you used to. And we're going to be searching for another location as well. Uh, so <laughs> everything's about to get a lot bigger. Once we get to that point, we will go ahead and start doing bi-weekly locations when we can't fit everything into one day. So this is what I was talking about before. This is in the right spot. This is in the wrong spot. Now it's in the right spot. Alright guys, so we're just going to collect on this one real quick. There was no audio at all in this specific clip. Well, there was, but it was just kind of blank space of me doing my thing. Um, surprisingly, this snack machine did a little bit better than the soda machine, if I remember right. Uh, there was definitely more change in the snack machine than the soda machine. So uh, I'm noticing <coughs> I'm noticing a trend with the snack machines doing a little bit better than the uh, soda machines in the winter time. Come July and August, all that's going to change. I gear and flip and tee it. <laughs> let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, it's 1040. Let's get out of here. All right, it's 1117. Stop three. Let's get this done. So we're just going to take this today. I don't think we really moved enough uh, soda product to grab anything. All right, so this was actually our second best location today. I'm pretty pumped that uh, everything's working out as good as, it, as good as it is. We ran into uh, some issues at our first stop, which cost us a pretty good amount of time. If you guys have been listening to the timestamps, we're actually making better time than we did last week. Uh, you can see that's 
an okay collection for a week. It, I really wish it was better, but the week after Christmas, you can't really expect a whole lot. At least that's the way I feel. I don't expect much. All right, she's all full. Let's grab the soda machine. All right, so here we are at the soda machine. Uh, the soda machine at this location never does well in the winter. It does, uh, well, in, in December it does really well. But uh, outside of that, it doesn't seem to <laughs> it doesn't seem to fare nearly as well. Since the snack machine went in, that snack machine has made a world of difference of the profitability profitability of this location. All right, we're all done. Got to run to Walmart, grab a couple cases of soda, and then we'll move on to the next stop. All right, guys. So we've got our Dr Pepper, Coke, root beer. Down underneath, we've got everything else we need. Uh, I want to take a second while we're looking at all this stuff and talk to you about why I buy from Walmart and not from Coca-Cola. So I, on every single video I put out, I get a lot of questions about why I buy from a retailer like Walmart instead of BJ's, Sam's Club, stuff like that. Uh, Sam's Club is two hours away, so I only get free shipping from them. I don't actually drive there. My Coke bottler charges 44 cents a can. Um, BJ's is about 32 cents a can. Walmart is 29 cents a can. So I buy all my stuff from Walmart because it's cheaper there. It's just a lot easier in general for me to buy from them versus someone else. And they're literally right in the middle of my route so I can actually stop right after one of my stops and grab it and go. Um, I'm really proud. Uh, today we used pro we used money out of the checking account and not out of the uh, um, money bags, which is something I've been trying to do for a while. And uh, we haven't touched our savings account at all. So <coughs> I'm pretty happy <laughs> with that, excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next stop, guys. So we are at stop number four. Uh, point of reference, last week's video, we got here at like three o'clock. It is now 12.44. We are way, way ahead of schedule even though we had a breakdown at our first location. So let's get in here and get this done. So this is our setup on this. We've got four cases of Surge we're gonna put into this machine. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so we gotta reset all the shims. That shim, that shim, these two, and these two. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, then fill it up. All right, back row is all shimmed up. Everything's full. Let's do the front row. All right, that's full up. Uh, we got to do some diag on the machine. It's not taking two dollars. It's not taking two dollar bills, and it won't take a dollar fifty worth of quarters. Uh, so I'm gonna check out some of the programming, just do a real quick couple of tests, and make sure that we can actually do this. All right guys, so in a matter of like maybe five or six minutes, we were able to figure out what the issue was. I think it was because the machine was empty, but the problem's no longer a problem. Uh, bill acceptor only had a couple dollars in it. And there was nothing in the change, so we're gonna move on to the snack machine now. All right, we're full up on this machine. Everything's good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull the money out. All right, so this is the machine that's got like some really, really messy wiring. I'm gonna take some time eventually. I know I've said it a billion times, but I'm gonna take some time eventually and I'm gonna clean all this up. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. The This is an AP6000 and Everything is really, really tight in these machines. The AP113 wasn't nearly as tight as this machine is. Still a really solid machine. I do have to say I'm not a big fan of single coils. I'm more of a double coil kind of person. But uh, as long as you put drop sensors in them, they seem to work just fine. And the AP machines, like I said before, they're outstanding machines regardless. Really, really solid. Let's get out of here. It, uh, when we got here last week, it was 4 p.m. It is now 1.37. We have shaved so much time off of this run. 
All right, cart's loaded up. Let's get in there. Coax down, monster. Got a lot of root beer missing. Water. All right, so this is our Subaru dealership. This is the soda machine on this one. Ironically, uh, our Hyundai dealership is now a, it's owned by a company that has, that deals with Subaru. Uh, so it's really interesting. I think, I think technically we have two Subaru dealerships now. <laughs> you guys will start seeing that location a lot more soon. Oh, I didn't even see that quarter drop. I didn't notice it when I was doing this. Look at that. Did I notice it? Oh, yeah, I did pick it up. Okay. Oh, that's right. This thing was full of... Uh, so there was a little slot on the side, and it was just full of coins. You couldn't really... Uh, they weren't making it quite into the bucket like they were supposed to. <laughs> guys we are here at our last stop it is 250 now we have to install a new motherboard here so we're gonna be here for quite a while I'm gonna install the motherboard and then we'll uh, go ahead and fill up the machine Got the cart all set. Biggest stop of the day. So, all right, so we got quite a bit down. We actually, we don't have any ginger ale. We don't have enough Coca-Cola. We don't have enough of anything, almost anything. Let's fill it up. All right, so this is as full as I could get it with what we had, which is not very good. Uh, we might come back here before we're supposed to. I don't know, but telemetry is working, so we're good. Plenty of empty spots. All right, now I can finish up the day. Nope, oh, took the whole thing out. Hey guys, I just wanted to give some reference real quick. It is 5.30 right now, and this is when I was leaving the Subaru dealership last week. Not only did I do a board install, but I also had two problematic locations where we had to fix something. This is dramatically fast. I'm gonna be out of here before I was out of here last week with a board install and two problems that I had to solve in the middle of the run. Pre-kitting is where it's at. 
Hey guys, it is morning next day. Uh, it's time to go ahead and make a deposit. Let's do it. Right, guys so here's the figures for this week I realized I didn't give them in last week's video we got $720 gross we have a net value of $381 so a little bit less than last week last week we pulled uh, 809 and had a net value of 405 all right guys let's uh Let's go to the place. What's it called? The cardboard place. All right guys, so we got all this cardboard that's gonna go. A lot of it's actually household. A lot of this isn't even business. All right, we've got that all cleaned out. Now before we completely call it a day, we gotta run and let one of our locations know that uh, their machine, their new machine's coming. <clears throat> all right guys, so I just talked to the new managers here. Uh, it's no longer a Hyundai dealership. It's actually a used car dealership. And uh, we're gonna be replacing the Dixie Narco 501E with an AMS combo machine. I'm actually not sure of the submodel yet. But uh, these guys seem pretty happy, pretty excited to be in there. There's more employees than there was before, which is good. Hopefully uh, it's, a, it's a much larger name than uh, what it was before. So. Hopefully the traffic is a lot heavier. I'm hoping that the foot traffic is a lot heavier and maybe they have some more regular technicians. But let's go home and finish up the day. All right guys, so we've already placed the order for the stuff that's missing out of here. We haven't bought curtains yet. We're gonna buy curtains, I promise. We've got some leftover stuff here and we gotta put it back. So we're gonna do that real fast. Everything's back where it needs to go. Now we have other stuff we need to do. We need to send a couple emails real quick because yesterday I ordered two machines. We ordered a APL LMC2 or LMC3, I'm not sure, and an AMS combo machine for the, <coughs> the dealership we were just at. So I need to send some emails out and uh, we're getting there. We're almost done with the whole day. All right, guys. Uh, inventory is, we ordered inventory right after doing our pre-kit, so we're not going to have to do that now. And uh, we're pretty solid. I've got those emails sent out. That's it for this week. Um, we'll get right back with you guys next week. Peace out. Remember to love life and live your dreams.